Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC we do everything DIY and we are back at this nightmare unit we have a pump motor assembly and a brand new filter that we're going to be installing on this LG Multi-V system Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech today we're working on another LG Multi-V system in this video, we're gonna be replacing the condensate pump, which is right here. It came in a whole assembly. This is a part four to an ongoing situation. This was quite the service call, but as of right now, part came in for the new pump motor assembly. This thing is pretty cool. A lot of it came already done. So this is my first time changing one of these. Let's go ahead and see how we can get this done just a quick overview so if you can see we have a set of blue cables and a red cable which the wire is actually black this red cable is the float the two blue wires you can see goes to this coil for the motor so the two blue wires are the motor and this red cable is the float here's our condensate pan and if you guys notice this is just capped off this is where the pump is connected to let's go ahead and remove this part real quick and start disconnecting some stuff from there should be able to take it out from here if not I see another port over there oh definitely a lot of stuff inside there that definitely can't be good definitely don't want to do this with the power on of course the power is off just so you all know now let's take off this panel here oh, this thing has no screws Okay, let's put that to the side. And now this thing is free. How much can actually come out of here? Definitely gross. So that's coming out, but the pump is actually right here. Let's just start by disconnecting the wires. So on this pump, this black cable is the float. Let's see which one that is. It's this right here. CN float. That's what it says on the board. CN float with the little blue cable. Okay. And then this one is a clear with the blue and there's actually looks like there's there's actually water in here. Alright, so let's see which one is that. Right here. I'm gonna do this plug, it says CN D pump on the board. Little clip, and I can unplug it. barely fit in there man so let's start by pulling those wires out two wires disconnected the outlet of the pump disconnected i think this can just come out just like this Oh wow, yeah, that's pretty simple, pretty simple. I don't even think I would need this cover open, but it definitely makes things easier. Hello, good morning. This thing honestly looks gross. There's definitely a difference in pump design here. Just wanna give a quick 
if you guys look this side is just open on the new pump this is sealed on the older one look at the float system on this one you see it goes up with the plastic on this one it's just this piece moves this is stable slightly slightly different setup all right so you guys remember just a few moments ago i mentioned how this was a slightly different design than this well guess what it's the same design but this was on wrong it came from the factory like this so it must be this way this thing was on backwards and it's full of dirt unreal i'm just gonna run a quick test for the future i'm gonna set my meter to resistance we're gonna read in ohms also this reads continuity at the same time so for this motor as far as the motor itself it's a coil if we put our leads to it the two big wires let's so make sure that we got leads we got ol new motor four hundred and eighty nine point two ohms so four hundred ninety ohms got no reading on this one on the bat on the older one and we do have a reading on this one i think it's shot so that's another clue to this mystery as far as why water was blowing into this duct that's what the original call here was there was water coming dripping down from here insulation was done that's why you see there's no insulation here we cut that out we had to cut into the ceiling just to gain access to this i want you guys to pay attention to the sound so here's the float when the float is down we're going to check across the two leads from the float once again we're in continuity and ohms we're going to listen for the sound guys okay, so in here we have continuity if i push the float up we lose continuity, we get OL. Flow down, we have continuity and we have 0.4 ohms. So that's one way to check this. Here's just a quick look of the old filter compared to the new one. Look at the gap it was leaving. Look, this is lined up perfectly on the corner. Look at the gap that it was just bent. Same thing for this side. So all the dirt was going right through it. Plus there's like little holes in places and, and tears dirt was just passing through this it was a nightmare huge difference i'm gonna start by pushing this motor in i'm gonna put the wires in first let's pull those wires in Push this thing through, nice and smooth. That yeah, was pretty simple. What I would do is actually clear this up a bit because you can see this wire is in the way of the float. It's gonna make problems. So let's get that and then let's run the wire through where it ran through last time. One in here. And the next one. Well, it is a bit tight, so hopefully you guys can see, but I'm gonna plug the pump back in. Okay. And then this was the float right there. It was pretty tight, so if you guys can see, here's the motor, here's the float. The wires are a lot neater now and nothing is obstructing the float. Hand is nice and clean. Man, this was quite a job. From here, we just gotta put the screws back on this new plate. I wanna point something out. Pay attention to this lip. You see these two little clips? They go on the inside. And there we go, we have a nice seal. And now we can put the screws in. 
All right, so that's in there. Also, I want to take this piece off. I see dirt inside as well. Look how it's blocking that little piece. We cleaned out the dirt out of here. Just want to make sure there's no dirt in here. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff inside there. We got to clear that out. And we got to make sure this is clear as well too. Okay. Just want to clear these hoses. Got the nitro tank here. This awesome attachment. I'm just going to blow out this line. <laughs> okay, I see it clears. Drain actually ends up back there. Because I can hear the air from there. That's good. Something came out of there. Good old nitro. Are putting this stuff back together. Let's put it in a way where it's easy to take it off next time if needed. Put back together and everything's cleaned up. All right, let's start putting these covers back up. All right, this one actually got to get tucked underneath this one. Hold up, should have put this one off first. Okay, let's hold that. Now let's get these screws in. They said that they're actually ordering these two bottom covers just because they're in such bad shape. So I think for now, we're gonna leave this closed just like this without putting up the auxiliary pan. So tomorrow when we come in and install the heater, excuse me, the electric air filter, we're gonna put in an air scrubber in here. Once we install that, we need this closed and then we're gonna run this system just on fan, just so we kill all the bacteria that's in here inside the unit and the duct and let the filter do as much as it can and then from there we can continue and figure out a plan but as far as this video is going to be for replacing the condensate pump and if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time yeah.